Hello, Leo, and welcome to your October 2020 future love reading. This is for Leo. Leo, you can now follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, and I will leave all of those links and all of that information down below in the description box. All right, Leo, this is for you. We're going to see what's going on with your future love. This is for Leo. What is going on with Leo's future love? What is going on with Leo's future love? Let's see. Okay. We have flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. And we have attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. All right. So new energy here, clearly. Um, a lot of attraction here, flirting here. So let us see where this is going, Leo. All right, this is for Leo. Future love reading, what's going on with Leo's future love. If this resonates with you, Leo, please like, share, and subscribe. And leave me a comment. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button for me. I would greatly appreciate it. If this does not resonate with you at all, Leo, please do check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign as this will not resonate with every Leo out there. Please keep in mind that some of the energies can be vice versa or interchangeable. So however it resonates with you. This is for Leo. This is for Leo. What is going on with Leo's future love? What is going on with Leo's future love? Okay. Okay, so it's getting pretty hot and heavy. Knight of Wands, right? Fire energy. Um, I feel like this is happening very quickly. At least the chemistry part is happening very quickly. I feel like this person is worried that you have other options here. Okay, I feel like this person may have a little bit of, uh, maybe a little bit of a jealous streak here, this new energy, but um, I just feel like um, they're a very healing energy here for you, Leo. Um, and they, they need you to move on this, right? They need you to move on this. It's a very slow moving situation. The heat is on, the attraction is here, and it's getting pretty hot and heavy, but they do feel like you pull back from them. Now, some of you Leos may say, you know, this uh, is vice versa. No, it's, it's them pulling away from me. But I feel like, um, whatever the case may be here, they feel like it's a little inconsistent because they feel like you have other options. Okay, they are afraid you have other options, but they are here to fight and to win your affection. Knight of Wands here, that's fire energy. So this person is developing feelings for you here. Okay, hidden feelings. Um, so it's more than just this chemistry between the two of you for this person. But they're not going to move on it. I feel like they're waiting for you to move on it. So their, their feelings are hidden um, with this moon card. You could be dealing with a Pisces or somebody with strong Pisces in their chart. So this attraction, this chemistry, this person has caught feelings for you. All right, so let's see where this is going to go, but it's all hidden here. They feel like it's fate. They feel like it's destiny. Um, the stars are aligning here. The stars have aligned for the two of you to meet and get to know each other, which is what is happening or will be happening, right? It's a future love read. You could be dealing with a, an Aquarius or somebody with strong Aquarius in their chart. Again, a very healing energy here for you. All right, I got two cards of healing and finding balance. So, I mean, they're good for you, but, uh, and they'll fight for you and they'll wait for some sort of decision from you, but they can't, they feel like they can't make the move. You're going to have to make it. 
Okay. So, the star card. So, this person um, may be a little bit more on the shyer side, I want to say, Page of Pentacles. The, the um, lines of communication are open and they are sincere, but um, things are going very slowly here to kind of get you to open up emotionally. And I feel like that is why, um, so we're kind of trying to keep it light, trying to keep that attraction, the flirting going, but it's, it's kind of a slow process here. All right, Leo, I'm going to read the energies of the cards. If the sign of the person that you're dealing with have dealt with or will be dealing with in the future, right? Future love read. If their sign pops up, then all the better. Keep in mind, time is fluid. And cross watchers, keep in mind that some of these energies can be um, vice versa or interchangeable. So this person is ready to put in the time, the energy, and effort into you. Um, they are that attracted to you. And like I said, they've, they've caught some feelings that they have not expressed. They're waiting for that right time. They're waiting for you to open up more emotionally to them before they interject their emotion. But they do want success here, and um, they are being patient here. Seven of Pentacles, that is Earth energy. Five of Wands, and I'm going to read these two together. Five of Wands with the Seven of Cups. So this person feels like you have other options. Maybe they feel like the past energy is still a factor for you, okay? But they're willing to fight for you. They're willing to fight for this connection, right? And they're willing to wait for you to make a choice here, all right? Um, for you to clear your mind and to make a choice. They're hoping that you choose them. They're hoping that you're not going to go backward. Um, so that's how they're feeling. They feel like they're doing all that they can do and you have to start to open up emotionally to them. They may feel like you're kind of stuck in uh, past thoughts, pa past patterns here. Um, and we need to move forward. All right. So eight of swords, that is air energy. They hope that with this card as well, they hope that you can see them. They hope that you are um, going to be in it as much as they are into you because they're most definitely into you. We have temperance here. So this person is going to be very patient and kind towards you. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Healing energy. This card and this card, very healing energy for you. Helping you to find your balance again. Helping you to find your footing again. But the process is very slow. All right, so let's see. See, another card of healing. So very healing energy around you. It's kind of getting you out of your... This person's kind of getting you out of your past patterns, your past thoughts. Um, thinking about people from the past, right? That you, they feel that you're kind of stuck in. So they're helping you, right? They're helping you to heal whether you know that or not. And... Um, they're hoping that, um, you know, you're going to see them instead of the past. You could be dealing with a Virgo or somebody with strong Virgo in their chart here. So what are you healing from? You're healing from some sort of an ending here, Leo. You could be dealing with a Scorpio or somebody with strong Scorpio in their chart. And <clears throat> they're just waiting for you to kind of change and transform and go through this healing process and they're right here with you all right but they have again caught feelings for you all right so they want to be your new beginning this is for leo this is for leo What is going on with Leo's future love? What is going on with Leo's future love? Let's see. Look at that. That's nice. New love. They're willing to fight for it. Okay. So um, right now, if they came to you with an emotional offer, they feel like you would 
reject them. They feel like you can't see them because you're very much concentrated on past energies. Things that have left you empty, right? You see those empty cups there? That's the Four of Cups. This is water. So they're just giving you time to heal and move forward. What are they putting work and effort into? This is what they want. They want a loving, balanced relationship with you. Okay? And they're willing to wait for that. They feel that connection. Like I said, um, I mean, the, the heat is on. The attraction is there. But they're kind of holding back to see what you're going to do before they interject and reveal their emotion to you. They will fight for this new love. They see you as a new love with this Ace of Cups. Okay, so they will fight for this. All right, they will fight for you, Leo. So I feel like they are seeing you as kind of, you know, you're still dealing with changes. You're still dealing with a tower moment here. And you're dealing with endings and, and they want to be your new beginning. And they're hoping that you choose them instead of a chaotic past here. Okay. So they're waiting for you to become unstuck and to fully walk away from situations that no longer serve you. This person feels like they can fulfill you. They can fill your empty cups. Okay. So they're waiting for you to completely release the past so that the two of you can move forward. Eight of Cups here. All right, so this person has kind of put you up on a pedestal. They absolutely think the world of you and they're willing to be patient. This person, I feel, does kind of watch you from a distance. And I do feel the lines of clearly communication are open. It's just... They feel on your end, you're having a hard time opening up, opening up emotionally because you're dealing with endings. You're dealing with a lot of chaos. And they see you as um, having an option. Maybe, the, you know, the past is, the door is still a little bit open for you. At least that's how they see it. But they want a true partnership here. They want to work on the relationship. They're looking for their soulmate. And they, they are feeling... Um, they're developing emotion for you and they want to see where that goes. So partnership, right? They want to be your friend. They want to be your lover. All right. So Leo, I think they're just waiting for a green light from you. Actually, that's what I'm seeing here. So I hope um, that resonates with you. There's love here if you want it. But you got to move forward on it, right? We got to leave the past behind and move forward. That's how this person is seeing this situation. So hidden emotions for you. They're catching feelings. Love is here if you want it, right? So that is your future love reading. I hope it resonates with some of you, most of you, all of you. And let's see. Um, like I said at the beginning of the video, you can now follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, and I will leave all of those links and all of that information down below in the description box. Um, Leo, what else? Please do follow the links because there are some imposters out there. And Leo, um, next week I'm going to be working on the big October 2020 monthly readings, so check those out. And uh, for those of you that are new, I do have a weekly schedule and a live schedule. The weekly schedule will let you know when your weekly reading will be released. And the live schedule, I usually go live every day, but Saturday around noon Eastern Standard Time. So check all of that out. And um, this past week, my schedule went a little sideways, so I do apologize. We had a couple of emergencies for the lateness of your video. Um, everybody's video was late this past week. Um, so thank you so much, Leo, uh, for your understanding. I hope you guys have uh, a great week, and I hope you're taking very good care of yourself. And I will talk to you soon. God bless.